Hey guys, I'm Dan, one of the engineers for Mishimoto Automotive, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install this newly designed radiator into a 99 Ford Mustang. Let's take a look at it. So as many of you may know, Mustangs have a lot of chassis flex. When you put a performance radiator into a Mustang, they, a lot of times they tend to break. What we at Mishimoto have done is we developed an isolated radiator system that puts the radiator in between two metal brackets with some rubber bushings isolating the rad from any of that chassis flex. To install the 97 to 2004 Mustang radiator, you will need a pair of pliers, eight millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter socket, extension, ratchet, half inch wrench, coolant, and a coolant funnel. Installation time is about an hour and is a three out of five on the difficulty scale. First things first, when your Mishimoto radiator arrives, you're gonna have to assemble the brackets and isolators onto the radiator. Let's do this first. First things first, let's install the rubber isolators into the brackets. Next, install the steel collars into the bushings. The bracket with the large hole toward the bottom is for the side of the radiator that has the drain plug. Now remember, the threads on this radiator are aluminum, so do not over-tighten these. Now that we've got the radiator assembled, let's jack the car up and put it safely on jack stands. Once the car has been securely placed on jack stands, let's pop the hood, find the negative battery terminal, and disconnect it. Next, locate the radiator drain plug and drain the coolant. To help speed up the draining process, remove the cap that's on the coolant reservoir. Next step is going to be to remove the coolant reservoir. In the case of this vehicle, the customer has already changed out to an aftermarket aluminum tank, but the process will still be the same. Remove the overflow hose from the radiator that connects to the coolant reservoir tank. Next, remove the two 8mm bolts and one 10mm nut to hold the reservoir tank to the rad support. Next step is to remove the upper radiator hose from the radiator. Next step, remove the lower hose from the radiator. Next step, remove the transmission core lines from the radiator. This step is only for vehicles equipped with automatic transmissions. Next, to unplug the cooling fan and remove the harness from the fan shroud. Next, remove the upper radiator stays from the rad support. Each rad stay has one eight millimeter bolt. Remove the radiator from the car. When you put these radiators side by side, you can notice the differences immediately. The Mishimoto rad is half an inch thicker and has all aluminum construction and sits in a cradle of two steel brackets. Stock rad, plastic crimped on end tanks, this rad's gonna fail. The rad you need is the Mishimoto. You'll need an 8mm socket to remove the two bolts from the fan shroud that hold the fan shroud to the radiator. Next, transfer the fan shroud from the stock rad to the Mishimoto rad. Now it's time to install this radiator in the car. When you're fitting the rad into the car, make sure that the two lower locating dowels 
mount securely into the lower isolators that are mounted into the rad support. Reinstall the upper radiator stays. Reinstall the lower radiator hose. Reinstall the upper radiator hose. Next, reinstall the coolant reservoir tank. Reconnect the lower reservoir hose. Reconnect the negative battery terminal. Okay, now it's time to refill the system. Use a 50-50 mix of coolant and water. For a little extra added cooling power, you can try Mishimoto's liquid chill. Once you've finished filling the radiator, turn the vehicle on and turn the heat on high. This will help get all the air bubbles out of the vehicle's heating system. Also, at this point, check the vehicle for leaks.